Well, while I'm making reviews, I might as well stop bumping the camera. By which I mean immediately bump it again. And film another one. This is a Figma. Number 218, Misuharda Hazuki. I guess. I don't know. From some thing. It says RPG, so maybe it's a game. I don't know. I just bought it because she was cool looking. Her box. Poses. The other side of her box. Yay, isn't that great? She comes with a bunch of hands. And a sword and a sheath. And that's it. Um, these, judging by the few other figures, figmas I have, these are pretty standard hands, fists, uh, calmish open hands, more, less calm open hands, um, hinged sword grappling, sword gripping hands, and not hinged sword gripping hand. She comes with a cool rapier of some kind. It's got a little bit of purple on. Um, near the crossbar. That's cool. Zoink. And now she's going to be out of focus, of course, because why would you want to focus if I zoom in? So, I don't know what this girl is from, but I like her design. She's kind of cool looking. She's got little purple and silver armor bits on her hips, and then a rather mini skirt, some armor on her boots, shoulder armor thing, and a cool cape. The cape is a little bit problematic because the shoulder bits are attached to it. So when the cape moves, the shoulder bits move. She's got a gold necklace thing too that is also part of that. So if you move this around, sometimes these things get bumped out of whack and look a little weird. That's a little troublesome. Her upper body looks a little weird. Um, the way her shoulders are really, really scooped out. So that her arms... She's definitely meant to have this armor on. If you take it off, she looks really weird and non-human in that area right there. <clears throat> Not there, but back and up a little bit more. Um, and it's all kind of because of the cause. The cape causes problems there too. Uh, so that's a little odd. Um, her hair looks a little strange with the way it's made out of two or three different parts like it's supposed to. I guess it can go up a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'm missing an accessory. I'll have to pull that out a little bit. She came with a face, I think. She has two faces. It should be right here. There it is. Her other face is looking more forwards instead of off to the left slightly, and I think that's about it. Maybe there's something a little bit different in the lips, but it's really hard to tell because it's such a tiny little thing. Um, so there. She's got a cool sword, like I said, and a scabbard that fits into a... Uh, Holder dealy that's attached to her back. The sword fits in the scabbard very nicely. If I dare try and pull it out of her hands. There, so she can do that. And then you give her a, another hand that doesn't look like it's trying to hold on to the sword. Um, the cape is articulated back there with the little joints you can kind of mess around with it a little bit. It does have a little um, flare in it that goes over the scabbard so it's not interfering with itself. They're not bumping into each other. Either one. She was a fun little figure. Um, sorry about that. She's a little bit stacked which I'm not going to complain about, but some people might. And I bought her because she had a sword. She's kind of cool. I don't She was, I guess, worth what she cost, which was, I don't remember. She just came out a couple weeks ago. Got her on Ami Ami. Um, here she is next to a couple of other Figmas that I've recently gotten. Some 
tiny child fig uh, chick with a giant axe. Because, of course, a little girl with giant with long hair would carry around a giant axe. Here she is with Figma Saber Lily, who I highly recommend. Maybe I'll review her someday. And here's the other, this was the actually only new one. The Tayo Honda from, I don't remember what it's from, because it's also from something I've never seen. I just bought it because she had a sword and a giant spear and she looked cool. And they're all going to be displayed on the same shelf together. So, yay Figmas. Thanks for watching.